Today let's take up the modern classification of accounts, the rules of debit and credit. In the modern classification of accounts, we have got uh, uh, five types of accounts here. The first one is assets account, then liabilities account, capital account, revenue account and expenses account. These are the five classifications that we have in modern uh, classification and let's now try to understand each of them. So first of all the assets account In assets account, all the assets that the company has that will be classified as the assets account like your land and building, plant and machinery, furniture, goodwill, patents, everything will come under this, right? Example, land and building, goodwill, patents, right? Plant, machinery account. stock account, all these are assets account, right? Now liabilities account, liabilities account, uh, accounts of uh, lenders, right? Lenders means those who have lent money, right? Creditors to whom payment has to be made. So all these comes under liabilities account, right? Then capital accounts. Capital account, basically they refer to the accounts of the proprietor or the partners of the company right now next revenue accounts revenue accounts whatever accounts are related to incomes and gains like the company is getting some income or uh, they are gaining from some transactions that is basically revenue accounts example of this accounts is purchases account sales account, okay, commission received account, interest received account like this, right, rent received account, these are all incomes. Then we have expenses account, expenses account Basically, they are expenses or losses, right? So, whatever expenses, uh, I wrote purchases account here. Uh, this purchases is actually a expense. So, it will not come in the revenue account. Revenue account, you will have sales. And purchases will be a part of the expenses account. Purchases account. Wages paid, rent paid, right? Salary paid, all these things. Interest paid, commission paid, all these things are expenses count, right? Now, let's look at the rule according to the modern approach the rules for debit and credit here now the rule is for each account we have the rule the first one i take up this is the assets account for asset account the rule is 
if there is an increase, if there is an increase in the asset, right, then it is to be debited. Then it is to be debited. If there is a decrease in the asset, value of the asset, then it is to be credited, right? So basically, increase in assets is a debit and decrease in assets is a credit, right? That is for the asset account. So here, uh, remember this, increase in asset debit and decrease in assets credit, right? Now the second one, that is liabilities account. Now the rule for liabilities account, if there is an increase in liability, it should be credited, it should be credited and if there is a decrease in the liability, it should be debited. So here the rule is increase in liability is a credit and decrease in liability is a debit, right? So this is the rule for liabilities account. Increase in liability is a credit and decrease in liability is a debit. Now we come to the third one. Capital account. Now capital account, again it is increase in capital account should be credited and decrease in capital account should be debited. Should be debited. So here increase in capital account is a credit and decrease in capital account is a debit. Fine. This is the rule for capital accounts. Right. Now the next one which is revenue account. For revenue account increase is to be credited and decrease is to be debited. Fine. Next classification is expenses account. Expenses account it is increase if this account is debited and decrease is credited right so here you have this see this is the rule for revenue account here and this is the rule for expenses account so basically now we have seen the classification as per the modern approach these are the classifications which I have put here asset account liabilities capital revenue and expenses and the rule of debit and credit for all these uh, account, asset account it is increase is a debit, decrease is a credit, right? For liabilities account, increase is a credit, decrease is a debit, opposite of asset, right? Capital account is same as the liability account, increase is a credit, decrease is a debit. Revenue account again is the same as we did in capital and liability, increase is a credit, decrease is a debit. Expenses account is something like your asset account, increase is debited, decrease is credited, right? So now, uh, 
I'll just uh, take up some accounts and uh, let's try to classify these accounts into the different classifications that we have seen here. Machinery account, Amit account, uh, basically we don't write Amit account, okay, let's put uh, Amit account and uh, capital account, right, cash account, Creditors account, rent paid account, buildings account. Now the first one. <coughs> asset account. Now the question what uh, what will be done either debit or credit if there is an increase if there is a increase in these accounts right machinery account is an asset account and there is an increase in this account now let's look at this asset account increase in asset is a debit right so here it's an asset account it's an increase means it will be debit right now the next one amit account this is basically a liability account right if there is an increase in the liability account it is a credit capital account I have uh, let's put the name of the proprietor here because uh, instead of writing capital account is a type of account actually uh, let's say the name of the proprietor is Sunil right so I write Sunil account he is the proprietor if he is the proprietor then this is the capital account. If there is an increase in the capital account, increase in capital account is also credited, right? Cash account. Cash account is treated as a asset account and there is an increase in asset account means it will be debited, right? Creditors account is again a liability account. If there is an increase in the liability, it is a credit. Rent paid account. Rent paid account is an expenses account, right? And increase in expenses is debited. Okay. Buildings account is again an asset account. And increase in asset account is again debited. Fine. If you had something like <coughs> commission received account, commission received account is a revenue account, right? And increase in revenue is a credit, right? Sales account, sales account is again a revenue account. Increase in revenue account is a credit, right? If you had purchases account, Purchases account is an expense account. Increase in purchases account is a debit. <coughs> so like this we will do the we will apply the rules of credit, rules of debit and credit in case of a modern classification of accounts, right? So in our next session we will uh, take We'll take a question which we will do according to the traditional approach also and modern approach also and with uh, with that the uh, rules of debit and credit uh, for traditional as well as modern approach 
will be over right so in our next session we'll conclude this rules of debit and credit we'll take up a question and we will do that according to both the approaches traditional and modern with that i come to the end of this session bye